Hey, welcome to another episode of Paul's Asian Adventure. Hey, I have some really good news. It uh, looks like the Philippines is opening up. And today I went down to the tourist information office because of the IATF office. I mean, an article that I had read and I have uh, done a video on previously. And I asked them what documentation I needed to go to Cebu. And she said, you don't need any documentation, no quarantine, no PCR test, no medical uh, uh, medical certification, no barangay clearance, nothing. So it's just basically like before. And then she told me also, these rules are implemented all over the Philippines. So basically, we can travel now as we did before the quarantine. So that's the really good news. And other news, I will therefore be going to Cebu in... Thursday, <laughs> baby, please don't do this again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go. God, sorry about that. So anyway, I'll be going to Cebu on Thursday or Friday. And um, uh, God, I lost my thought of train of thought here. I'll be going to Cebu Thursday or Friday. Yes, Mia will be staying here to, for her entry exam. And that's basically the gist of this video. So this, the rest of the video is the day, our day here. So if you want to watch it, that's great. But I didn't want to drag it out. So I just wanted to give you guys the good news straight up front. So this is really good news, not only for domestic travel. It's also good news for international travel. The reason I say that is because, in my belief anyway, uh, they're opening up the tourist infrastructure to get ready for the international tourism. So with this... Uh, you know, with them taking away all the uh, restrictions of travel, they're opening it up for domestic. So domestic travel will start really now. And then more and more tourist places will open up as they get more customers. And then they will kind of get ready for the international tourism. So I really believe with this, I believe that, like I said in my last uh, video, third or fourth quarter of this year, I think we will open uh, for international tourism. Now, which countries and if you have to have a vaccine or not, my guess is only if you've had a vaccine. Countries have had a very high percentage of their population vaccinated will probably be allowed in. That's just guessing on my part. But if I was a betting man, I would put uh, August, September, July, August, September uh, down. If I only had to pick one month, I would probably say August, but okay. Uh, maybe I'm overly optimistic, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the really good news. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video and take care. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. So, I'm going to the tourist info now to find out if um, what I need to go to Cebu because things are changing rapidly, so I want to get the latest information. It's Monday. I'm leaving Thursday or Friday. The tourists used to be there. To get the information, you have to go here in uh, Dumaguete. So, I just went in, no more travel authority, no medical certificate, no nothing. You just just get on the boat and go to Cebu. So to go to Cebu anyway, I didn't ask about Bohur. I should have asked about Bohur, but I'll We're be in... Go to... <laughs> I'll be in Cebu. I no, will. you and I. I will be in you Cebu. You and I. Can you let me finish, please? <laughs> I will be in Cebu and then maybe when she's done with her no, exam, which we'll find out about today. Let me finish, please. <laughs> we'll find out about it today at Silliman, when the entrance exam is. And then from Cebu, the plan is to go to Bohur. So no need to come back here. So I need to find out in Cebu what the requirements are to travel to Bohur. And I also, I didn't ask about traveling from here to Bohur. I should have asked. Shall I go ask? I'll ask about that, but I think it's the same, no more. Everything has changed now, so no more medical certificate or anything like that. So I'm going to ask for sure, but I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the comments uh, on the video. But so far, so good. So no more hassle when traveling. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anything you want to say? I want to go with you. Of course. Okay. Mia. So <laughs> you're, you're almost at 1,000 subs already. Yeah. So how many how many subs do you have now? Nine hundred and eighty. No, just 
900 exactly. So you're 100 away. And uh, how long has your channel been up? One week? Eight days? Ten days? I think that was two, two weeks already. Two weeks, or so 900. So you're almost at 1,000 subs. That's, that's amazing. It is amazing. Why, why do you think that is? Because of my beauty. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they like me. Yeah, but they like a lot of people. But yeah. what's different about your channel? Well, they get the information they want. They get the information. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you're a cutie pie. Huh? I'm a cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a song? No, I just made it. <laughs> just made it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's for the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the good news today? What did we find out today? Oh, that I can travel with you. <laughs> just kidding. No. Um, no need to uh, do the medical travel authority, all that stuff. So no more paperwork at all? No more paperwork at all. So you just go to the ferry and get on and go to Cebu if you wanted to? Of course to? you need to get a ticket. Of course. By the, uh, okay. <laughs> you have to take the motorbike, drive to the port, then get off, buy the ticket, then go to pay the terminal fee and then get on the boat. Yeah. Okay, okay. You want me to be that precise in my language? Yeah. Okay. So just like before then, except of course face mask and maybe face shield, right? Yeah. So take face shield and face mask with you just in case, yeah? Always, yes. Always. So things are becoming almost normalized, yeah? Yeah, and I love it. You like, love it? But maybe if we find out about my when my interest is down. How, when will you find that out? Tomorrow, because you're gonna do your Kobasaki, right? Yeah. So I'll go with you tomorrow. Tomorrow? And yeah. Because you were thinking it was April 15th, but well, that's what you haven't is. got it confirmed yet, right? Yeah. And I remember that woman told me, come back to so, um, summer break. Yeah. Oh, here's my cappuccino. The second best cappuccino in Dumagheri. The best one is in Why Not? But it's double the price. But it's also double the size. So, look at her. She takes my stuff without even asking now. Because I never eat it, so she knows. She doesn't have to ask. You want a bit of that to kill the corona? I did already. Yeah. Kill the corona? No. <laughs> so what are you saying? So tomorrow we should have a definite answer, right? Yeah, I hope, I hope it's gonna be like... But you were thinking April 15th, why? What made you think April 15th? Well, because she, one of my classmates says that... Um, she's in Silliman? Yeah, but she's um, her course is English teaching, like... She's gonna be an English teacher, okay. Yeah. So, but she told you April 15th is entrance exam? She doesn't know that because maybe for her. Uh, maybe for the English major is April 15th. Okay, so, but when we were there last time, the, what did the lady say? Did she say when the entrance exam? Because she talked about entrance exam, I remember. Well, she said just come back, summer break, and we're gonna have. Um, entrance. We're gonna have you tested. Like they're gonna have the entrance exam. They're gonna have the entrance exam uh, together with other students also. Okay. There's gonna be lots of them. So tomorrow we'll ask for a date. Yeah. Because did you go to the website? Yeah, but I look at their calendar, and it says they're May. May is the semestral break, and June, June something. Uh, is the um, online semester start? No, online registration. And then when the school start? The next day. So in June is the start of the semester. So and we're in March. So you got March, April, May. Uh -huh. So you got three months. Okay. I'm starting to study. You know that, right? Yeah. I got a lot of, of like I. Like before, I don't know that I didn't know that kind of stuff, stuff like mask. 
Yeah. It just gets stuck in my brain. That's why I need to exercise my brain more. I need to exercise my brain too. No. Yeah. You're Italian. Because I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting all the math. Remember? I'm like. I'm like. I can't even explain it to you. I can do it, but I can't explain it to you. Remember? Yeah, the percentage. <laughs> yeah. Like... But I just get me. Um, get shuffled sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope I'll get in. Yeah, I hope so too. But then, what you will do when I'm traveling around and you're in school? You're just gonna be in school, I guess. Yeah. Watch That's my vlogs. You'll I be. Need, you'll, I need to work you're gonna, my YouTube. I'll be live from one city in the Philippines, and you'll be. Will you be on my on my blog chatting me? You can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for today. And what are you doing the rest of the day? You're going to see your. I'm going to see my mom. Well, let's be precise in your language. Your mom is not alive. When you say that in English, it means she's alive. Oh. You're gonna go to her grave. Yeah. First, I'm gonna go to my family. Yeah. Um, they're making food and they're waiting for me. <laughs> I, t I lied to them. <laughs> and then after that. And after that, we're gonna go to the grave. Okay, don't say I'm gonna go see my mom because then people just assume your mom is alive. Okay. That's <laughs> everybody, but everybody will be like, I thought you said she's dead. How come she's alive now, you know? So, yeah, you're going to her grave. Uh, yeah, and then we'll meet up later, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna come pick me. If you're lucky. Yeah. Okay, we will uh, see each other later. No, no, this way. Bye bye. Are you? Are you gonna pick me? <laughs> yeah, I'll pick you up. Okay. So this is what I order. That is 90 pesos or almost two dollars. It's a egg salad sandwich. Plus I order two extra boiled eggs for the protein, so that's another dollar. So a total of three dollars for my, and then it's a dollar for the cappuccino, so that's four dollars for this. And then hers is 250 pesos or five dollars so almost ten dollars for a really nice lunch and this is at sans Rival, a really nice place and the boulevard this is is this your favorite here i just look at that smile and you know that's her favorite okay taste that meat baby do you like meat, baby? Huh? Do you like meat? What do you like most? American meat or Filipino meat? American. <laughs> I love the sauce. How's the meat? I love it. Love it? Cool. Mm. That sauce is you really good that? too. No. That, mm. sauce, that sauce is really good too, yeah? Mm. Okay.